sandwich. <laughs> Peter made us breakfast. The vlog is uploading. We bought arsenic and old lace. And we bought arsenic and old lace. Comment below if you've ever seen this hilarious Halloween movie. And if you haven't, go watch it and then comment down below saying, I watched it and I loved it, because you're gonna. We've made our way to Old Key West for our breakfast with the Brookhearts. They almost locked you out. This resort is hustling and bustling today, but we realized there's a cruise about to depart. We're about to do, we're gonna see what kind of sneaky snack we can get from the quick service, but we're about to do our breakfast with the Brookhearts, and I feel like this is the best choice ever because there's some rocking chairs that are open. We have some Halloween festivities going. Oh, there's a whole festival here. Cool. Villain Bingo, they're playing Halloween Town. We actually don't have Halloween Town. We should go to one of these Movie Under the Stars this week to watch it. We found the literal, literal, sec most secluded place at Old Key West. We had a busy morning and it's super busy here. We're starting the live stream. You guys like my lock shack and barrel button? Yeah, we do need that. But do we risk it and wait till it's in Kicked Warehouse? If it is, I don't know, I've only been Kicked Warehouse twice. Oh. But I don't know. Peter loves Jimmy Buffett. I'm a parrot head at heart. Guys. Love that. that. Peter won't stop talking about all the DVC merch. I love but all the DVC merch. Look at this dopey pin I got. Such I'm pretty good. impressed. It's a good find. It's a train set find. Yeah, I know that the other Dwarfs are part of the train set, but Dobie's probably tough to find. Hmm? Oh. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Must have, must do Disney. I actually like this one compared to last year's. I just saw a guy wearing it. He looked really good in it. I know. I like this one compared to last year's because mine's like three years old. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the like. They only come out like one Nike dry fit DVC member polo like every year or two, and then I like how the plain look of it. it looks good. Ooh, hoodless sweatshirt. That's all you. And what is white. this? It's like a tag. Like a little, a little tag. I just saw Katie's Insta story, and there's like a massive line to get into Epcot. Really? It's gonna be busy. Should we take the bus? Nah. Not too shabby at all. Check out. We're like the fifth car in, just, yeah. it's pretty great. What parking would that be? Not presidential or vice presidential, like... Cabinet member. Who's like fifth in... Cabinet, in a line? cabinet member. Cabinet Don't member? Don't know which one, but a cabinet member. Probably Alexander Hamilton. Well, he's a cabinet member, but I think he's like fifth or fourth. He's actually the $10 founding father without a father. Food and wine, food and wine. Everybody loves. Everybody loves. <laughs> Look at that line for special birth. Food and wine. We are doing. I haven't been singing that song enough this year. Right. We've I been feel here, like... but we just like haven't been singing it. I feel like we've been coming a lot to Epcot, but not for food and wine. So I feel like that's why we've been not singing it. And I feel like we, really, we need to do justice and at least get one out of it. Maybe the candy sushi, maybe something savory and delicious. Yeah. I don't know yet, but it's the weekend, it's Epcot, so you know what that means if you watch the, the Brooke Up Project for at least more than three weekends. We're going to the DVC Lounge, and we're going to enjoy it, get a couple Thoroughly. coffees, maybe my boy Frank will be there so I can say, hey Frank, how are you? Frank, the DVC cast member, is probably my favorite DVC cast member in existence, but look at... What about Frank? 
Look at that beautiful spaceship Earth. If you ever see Frank in the DVC lounge, tell him, be sure to shake his hand. Yeah, and tell him that Peter with the weird Epcot shirt says hello. <laughs> That's all he knows about. He, he does not know about the vlog. He knows me by the shirt. <laughs> Sarah's checking in over there on Facebook. We always post on Facebook where we are. There's coffee number 7482934. Looking pretty good. Got my classic strawberry cream soda over there. About to go get a refill. For how busy the park is, it's not too busy up here. It took us a little bit to get a spot, but we yeah. only waited like. These are my favorite chairs. These are Sarah's favorite chairs. Yeah, they're like contorched to your body, kind of. Yeah. I think we're gonna do the Voice of Liberty, and I'm real pumped, but I just need some baked lays in my life when the snack cart comes around. But I love that, it, like, it's gloomy. That with the breeze and the temperature is making today, like, the perfect park day. Um, yes. people. Yes. <laughs> we knew it was gonna be busy. Most of the people over there are in line. Like, there's line on line on line on line. There's literally like 30 minute waits right now for these food items. <laughs> okay, food this and isn't so. Food and wine. It's so bad. We're at Wine and Dine for the butternut squash raviolis on Carolyn's. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. We're Reference. This, we're getting this because the air hearts. Did you just eat some? Just some of the cheese. Here's a fork. So four fifty and a super long line. I didn't realize that's the butternut squash. Uh, maybe this line is deceiving because there's actually a line that goes this way and a line that goes that way. So your the line didn't look short, but it's actually double that because the kitchen's only feeding both lines. It's just not hot anymore. That's weird because I just got it. You know what though? It's like I don't think. It's kind of like because it's squash, it does have that like squash richer. consistency. Yeah, um, but it is like it definitely has the cheese in it, and I love just like shredded. I can see it not being hot because even though it's super busy, everyone's there for the seared scallops. So I think the lines being backed up by seared scallops, not by butternut squash. Right, so these are just like sitting there. Yeah. I'm not really big into seeds and stuff, but I like those. I love a good butternut squash. The sauce is like vinegary, Ooh. and it's like. A good like part. Did I not have any of this when Carolyn had it? You were here when they had it. Oh. Yeah, they just said it was their favorite. Oh. The tartness is like good with like the richness of the cheese. I tend to eat my stuff way too fast. Take your time. Like I take like big bites. And I'm done. <laughs> Ooh. I love it. Yeah. Like Don't you just wish it was hotter? Yeah. It's bigger. Like I want this as an entree, hot, in a restaurant. <laughs> Let's do it. I wanted to try and show you the ridiculousness of the crowd. What'd you say? It's gorgeous out. Yeah. This is just a small, small example of the crowd today, but I we love you anyway. Oh, I love like festival weekends. It just like makes me feel so proud of this part. <laughs> but it's crazy out there. Like it took us like, 10 minutes to yeah. like get from Canada to UK. Yeah. Love it. Alrighty, what time is it? Should we head to Voices of Liberty? Yeah, 3 35 by the time we get over there with these crowds. It's probably yeah. close to sitting down time for yeah. Voices. Just here representing our, our Plains Midwest Native Americans. This is so cool. It has all the different regions of the Native American. Different things where you like put your hand and they talk to you of like what they do. Like those people are all today though, right? Yeah, like these how are they all continue current. like living on the legacy of their ancestors. Um, we had a friend who uh, was Native American or is Native American. He even has like his uncle like grew up in their res reservation, like in Wisconsin. He always knew he was gonna bring anybody. He always said he was gonna give you moccasins yeah, too. Yeah, for my 16th birthday, his uncle was gonna make me real authentic like deer moccasins, yeah. and I never got them. <laughs> Come on, Joe. I'm an Inuit Athabasca. I was raised by my mother and some grandmother who were from 
the small Alaskan villages of Ambic and Flat. Well, I go to Alaska. So My bad. grandmother was. for the next few minutes, but before we go any further, I want to try to get some of you to come a little bit closer. What do you think of my banjo? Susanna, don't you cry? So we've taken some of our favorite railroad songs and put them into a fun hand clapping, toe tapping medley. So this line is to order in Italy, and then once you order, you have to go all the way back over there, back over here, and get in your line to pick up your food. It's madness! That's awesome. I love it. It's madness. It's becoming a well-oiled machine. Yeah. This still exists amidst the chaos. The beauty. It's so beautiful. Oh, well, joking. So do we. We're on now. Yeah. We're gonna get some pub cool. We're gonna go home. You know, we're gonna go peel box, then home, maybe eat a pizza, then go to bed early or watch <laughs> Arsenal Lace. Yeah. Alrighty, our last stop of our day at Epcot. The notorious, the infamous Club Cool. That's one full cup of Beverly. Excuse me. This means So we're home, but we got we stopped at the P.O. box and we stopped at the store having finger foods for dinner. So super awesome. Matt's preparing some fancy healthy food over there for him and Ben. We got this awesome hundred things to do in Orlando before you die from Ken and Laura. We got an amazing pebble here from Mix Picks. We already opened this and almost finished all of it, but we got some M and M's. We got a sugar cube for like a like a bath salt. And this espresso beans. This is from our awesome friend Alexa, who's now a lawyer. So congratulations on passing the bar. So awesome little magical mail time today. And now we're gonna spend the rest of the night. She has something in her mouth. No, oh, she doesn't. She does. This is the smorgasbord of a night at home finger foods <laughs> movie palooza. Arsenic and roll lace, Mountain Dew pitch black. This is like a commercial. Happy fall, y'all. <laughs> as Sarah says. Well, it's late. It's like 11.30. Our night quickly digressed into a nice night of relaxing. I think it had to do with us getting up early, me running that half marathon, and just taking advantage of a calm night. But we watched Arsenic and Lace. A Frank Capra, uh, Cary Grant movie, 
check out if you've never seen it. It's a great classic like Halloween time one. Then we watched uh, a classic one of ours, our favorites, uh, About Time. And I want to put in a section like this last clip. <laughs> the truth is I now don't travel back at all, not even for the day. I just try to live every day as if I've deliberately come back to this one day, to enjoy it as if it was the full final day of my extraordinary, ordinary life. Sarah and I have lived by that, I think, since before the vlog, and we hope that you find the fun in your ordinary life every single day. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>